This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Good that we've got everybody back here. Nice to have Tommy back. We're looking at the Dow down 37 at 34,580. It went back from a uh, just a real quick um, L, which meant that the nine period moving average finally po went positive. It just went positive for a day, and then on Friday went back to negative. Chapman wave inside track repellent zone right here. The lowercase H that goes to the lowercase M has been the pattern we've been talking about for weeks. That seems to be unfolding, and we're going to watch Friday, this coming Friday, whether or not we get a pullback in the weekly chart. So far, all the weekly charts are holding well. The S&P down two, just down two at 44.48. <clears throat> Here there's a larger uh, pattern that we're looking at. Yes, it's got the H and it's got the lowercase m potential, but if it breaks at uh, below uh, the 44.28 level, that's really going to change things. But so far, it's just in a sideways uh, pattern looking at the QQQ. Here we go. NDX 100 got repelled at the inside track repellent zone. And the nine period moving average, we'll see if today or tomorrow it actually turns pink. So far, it's still green, but it's really close. All the other technicals are very weak. And at 370, down 46 cents. Uh, I'm just watching this closely. To get to 374 is going to take a lot, especially in this era that we're looking at, not an era, but this week where we've got uh, three order companies uh, basically on strike. I mean, we've got higher oil, higher heating oil. Look at this heating oil. Let me just do this. I forgot to do that on Friday. I think I did it in one of my sessions. Look at this, made a peak D, but look at that screamer that went to the height it was made earlier in 22. We'll talk about that when I get back. IWM, the Russell 2000, <clears throat> trading down 33 cents, uh, quite weak. Looking at gold, gold's trying to rally. It is um, about two points down, 1944. The dollar's still holding very well. The dollar, I don't see <clears throat> anything other than just a short term, getting a little bit bumping into resistance here at this particular point. Looking at the uh, US bonds, uh, US bonds down again, so the yields are going up. And you've got crude oil. Did I get to Chris? I did. I just spoke about crude oil. Crude oil made a new recovery high. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Hope you can stay and check out my opening call daily news there. See you in a few minutes.